My moments with mom. Hi, I'm Jackie. And I'm Jacqueline. Hi, you guys. Hey, Flickers. All right. Well, first we're dressed alike. We are. We haven't even worn these t-shirts to Disneyland, you guys, because Disneyland closed down. We got these at Kohl's, of course. I get most of our t-shirts at Kohl's because mm -hmm. it's always two for 20. We literally cut the tags off of these today. Yeah, we did. So we didn't even get a chance to wear them. But when the park opens and they're selling passes again, we'll go. Our pass is expired. Right, right. But and that's a long story. You could go watch our yes video before this where we talked about Disneyland reopening, what we think, and all that stuff. Right. But from the title of this video, you will know that we're finally doing a <laughs> DIY Disney ear video. I can't believe it. I know it. I, know I it. honestly can't. You guys have requested this for so long. So believe it or not, the last time I made pairs of ears <laughs> was five years ago. And it's the ones we're wearing right now. Yes. That's the first time I ever made ears for us. Wearing ears. Wearing a pair of ears too. <laughs> She's sitting in the house with ears on. So different characters on the back, you guys, and on the front. Our sewing machine, so funny. I don't even remember when we bought that. We bought it at Sears years and years and years ago. I don't even remember because Jerry made all of our valances. Yeah. We used to have valances over all our windows. Valances were the big thing. You guys, ask your parents. In the 80s, they were called balloon valances. <laughs> And you would get buy a so balance or make them, and then you'd stuff them like with tissue paper or whatever, so they would be real puffy, and they were called balloon valances. So Jerry knows how to sew. Mm -hmm. He's right. the one who taught me how to sew and crochet. Right. He's just crafty all around. He is, and he cuts our hair, and yeah. he dyes my hair. He knows a lot of he's, stuff. He's a jack of all, he's an, uh, a Jerry of all trades. But everybody kept saying, Jacqueline, you gotta do a video this time on doing the ears. So right. she and finally did. I kept procrastinating right. because if you guys have watched our <laughs> videos, you'll know that I play a lot of instruments. I started playing piano at like five years old. I taught myself how to play guitar how to play ukulele, how to play the mandolin a little bit, and now I'm trying to teach myself how to play <laughs> violin. And I kid you not, making Disney ears <laughs> for me is so much more difficult than learning all those instruments. Can you guys believe that? So she thinks making Disney ears is harder than learning a musical instrument. I don't I'm know like, why. Jacqueline, I well that's like the funniest thing because you would think that that would be so hard, but but she said, no, no, mom. She's all, I just, I'm not good at making yeah. these Disney ears. And it's really time consuming. It is. So, yeah. yeah, some parts are easier than others, which we'll get into. But yeah, thank you for clicking on this video to watch. Hope you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, we'll get into the tutorial. <laughs> I hope you guys like it. All right, first things first, you're gonna need your fabric for the ears and the bow. We found this super cute finding dory fabric at Joann's a while back. We love the pattern so much, it's adorable. For the bow, we actually found this fabric that looks like it has sequins on it, but it doesn't, so that's kind of neat. Next, you gotta get your headband, and what mom and I like about these is that they're glittery. So we feel that we don't need to wrap them in the same fabric we're using for the ears since they're decorated already. Now, I recommend you make a template for the size of ears that you want. So what I did was I got a piece of paper I found a bowl we had that was almost exactly the same diameter as a pair of Disney Parks ears. So that saved me some time trying to make a perfect circle using the bowl. And then I found a bigger bowl to use to draw another circle around that circle. And that little spacing you see is my sewing area. You have to make your cutout bigger than you actually want the ears because when you sew them, you have to sew it with the back of the fabric facing outward. Then you have to turn the whole thing inside out and that makes your pocket for the ears. So if that was confusing to you, we'll get to that step in just a minute. Now here you could see me tracing the circle using the template and I'm doing this on the back of the fabric with a ballpoint pen. Mom and I wanted the same characters on our ears but just in different 
positions on the headband, which you'll see later in the video. And just remember, you're gonna need two circles of fabric per ear. So if you're only making one headband for yourself, you'll need four circles of fabric. So here I laid out the circles of fabric underneath my headband, and I actually used a headband from the Disney parks for reference. So where you see the fabric coming out underneath the headband, you're gonna wanna trace that and then cut it off. So I actually forgot to film me doing that part, but the next clip when I'm sewing them, you're gonna see it. But basically you're gonna have a little curve taken out of your circles of fabric. So look how cute this is. My great grandma actually crocheted this pin cushion and she used it when she sewed way back when, and now I'm using it. So even though she's no longer with us, I feel like there's a little piece of her with me when I'm sewing. So here we have the pieces of fabric that I just cut in the last clip. I put two of them together with the fronts facing each other. So right now we're looking at the back of the fabric and I pin them so they don't move around when I'm sewing. All right, so here comes the tricky part. We actually have to sew the ears now. As we said in the beginning of the video, the last time I made ears was five years ago in 2015. So I haven't used this sewing machine since then, but luckily it worked out. I think it came out okay. You know, I try to do it as round as I could. Really the only hard part is having to turn the fabric as you're sewing. And don't forget to knot your thread at the end. So here is one of the pockets for the ears. The edges look a little crooked, but once we stuff it with fluff, it'll smooth it out. So here's the foam I'm using for the inside of the ears. It's six millimeters thick. I got this from Michaels. Once again, I use that four inch bowl to cut the circles out. So here it is next to one of the ear pockets. You're gonna wanna put it inside. Then when it flattens out, now you have your foundation for the Mickey ear. For the stuffing, I'm using this fiber fill. It's very soft, very pliable. I've seen some people use foam batting to stuff their ears, but I find that using the fiber fill is much easier. So here's one of the flat ears, and then here's one that I stuffed with fiber fill. So I just filled in both sides next to the foam. So here are all of our stuffed ears and of course you can put however much filling you want. We like them nice and squishy so we put in a lot. Now for the bow I wanted to try it no sew so what I'm doing is creating a seam on the back and I'm doing this with hot glue. So I folded one side in and then I'm going to fold the other side on top of that to glue it together and I did that all the way down the line. This part's a little bit tricky. I would recommend getting help with this. So I turned the fabric in on itself so I can create a nice even seam with no rough edges. Then I glued it together. So now we kind of have a little pocket situation going on. Then I filled that one end that's closed with fiber fill. Now we're gonna get a little tiny piece of the same fabric, fold the sides of that piece in, not all the way, just a little bit so we create an even edge. Edge. We're gonna cinch the middle of the bow and make sure your seam is at the bottom. Then we're gonna fill the other side of the bow with fiber fill and glue that end just how we did the other side. Now we're gonna close up our ears so I put hot glue on the foam, then just took turns folding the sides of fabric onto itself to close the ears. In the video, it doesn't look like they're closed all the way, but trust me, I triple checked. Then I decided where I wanted the ears to go, and again, I used a pair of ears from the parks for reference. I glued the middle of the bow into the middle of the headband, and then we decided we wanted to add a little more pizzazz to our Disney ears, so we put some cute little white pom-poms around the edges of our ears using hot glue. And there you have your finished Disney ears. Both of these ears took me how many hours do you think? 10. <laughs> but maybe, 11, I don't know, 11. I mean, <laughs> pretty close. But yeah, so it was so much fun making these and we actually forgot we had this um, fabric. We bought this fabric so long ago, you guys. We went back to the store and we actually have more material. So she'll be doing another pair of yeah. ears. Um, and she might try no sew. Right. We'll see. I might try we'll it see. no sew this time. And I like that we added the pom-poms this time. I do too. It kind of matches the 
like little bubbles that's in the fabric. Yeah, that added a lot. Oh, and help put them on, you guys. Oh, yeah. Somebody says, why didn't you guys put yeah, them on? Yeah, okay. So we realized that Jacqueline did these bows a lot bigger, you guys, but I'm glad that she made them this small because if she made the bows bigger, it would have hid the character, so I'm glad you, you had to go. Right. right. She almost had to go small. Mm -hmm. And then we realized when Jacqueline pulled out the old ears, which was smart, Yeah. she actually, you guys, sewed the bottom of the ears shut, mm -hmm. right? So all Instead the stuffing. of gluing it. Right, this time she didn't even remember that because it was five years ago. <laughs> so basically she just stuffed the ears and then glued them. And I said, yeah. oh my God, Jacqueline, but that is smarter to, to totally sew. Yeah. The like opening. it's more secure. Right, you holding know? in all that fluff because you yeah. really could have shoved that stuffing in there and then yes. sewed it. And then she glued these after sewing right. so that I think we'll stick with that. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and give yeah. the video a thumbs, up a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.